Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Stock Market Show. This is your host, Shades. Let's go over the stock market watch list for Friday, what I have my eyes on. So the market dumped huge yesterday. But as you can see, where's the bottom, guys? That's the first question you ask yourself when you look at a stock chart. Is it at the bottom? Well, I have a pair of eyeballs and you do too. There's your buy. There's, there it is. And buyers are stepping in. So how do we take advantage of the volatility on Bitcoin? We buy the Bitcoin miners, right, and Mara, or you can also buy the ETF that follows Bitcoin, like ARCB is one of my favorite ones. As you can see, that where's the bottom? Do you see it? I see the bottom. Boom, there's the bottom. I actually did buy some uh, ARCB on the small account challenge, but I, I don't, I'm not alerting that to the Discord. Because uh, everyone's got a different sized account. Some people just can't afford a $100 uh, stock. So I I'm not alerting, any uh, alerting anything other than penny stocks so people can go to their accounts fast. And uh, the occasional stock that's a little more expensive if, if it's uh, if, for the people that do have the money. So Bitcoin, that's how you can take advantage of the, the Bitcoin volatility and momentum to the upside. Either buy one of the miners, Mara or Riot, or ARGB which is an ETF that follows uh, Bitcoin to a T. So there you go. That, that's uh, play number one right there. I'll be looking to buy some more for the small account. I only bought like two shares because uh, the small account is, well, it's small. And we're looking for a 100% win rate on the small account. That is the goal. That is the challenge. All right. SoFi, don't care for it. SPY, well, you can see the bottom, but it's so expensive. It's almost 600 bucks a piece, so I would never buy it. But there you go. I guess you can play calls on it if we get a nice continuation here. Looks like a wedge also. So we might get a, I'm thinking we might get a bounce on the market on Friday to close the week. But that's, uh, there you go. There's your wedge. There, touch the bottom of the wedge technically. And uh, there's your bottom. So boom, there's a, I think we might get a bounce on uh, Friday by the looks of it. So there you go, uh, S&P 500, I don't know who we trade that, 600 a piece, no thank you. Riot, Mara, I already told you. Tesla, don't care for it. Palantir, not interested. Tilray, eh, it's in no man's land. It held a bottom. Tilray is a perfect example of a stock that held a bottom, and then it broke down. And uh, I'm just not touching it until it forms another bottom. So uh, there's no bottom here. Uh, just, I mean, it, it's trending downward and it bounced, but there's no... Yeah, I don't see a bottom, personally. I guess you could call this a bottom, but eh, I don't trust it. You know, this this bottom was very... You could trust this one. Look at that. Huge, huge run, comes back down. Huge run, comes back down. Like, this one's, this one was beautiful back uh, before it broke down. So, no, 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 not interested. Until Ray GME, I want it at 18 to 21, or I'm not interested. I'm not going to chase it at 60, 40, 30. Never, never, ever wait for it to come down. It'll come down. It just takes time, guys. Patience and discipline pays. BBAI, uh, technically the bottom is all the way down here <laughs> at uh, at around $1.50. So uh, I, I don't think it'll come down that low. I'd be shocked. Not interested in NEO. Not interested in... Oh, maybe I am interested in NEO. Hmm. Yeah, NEO, I've been hesitant to buy. But it's trading sideways here between $4.30 and $5. So it's it's a good for, it's good for like a dollar flip. But I, I don't trust that bottom. That bottom, I, I feel like it's going to break down eventually and we're going to retest the the absolute bottom down here at 360. That's what I'm really waiting for. So I'm not touching it. But if you want to play that that range, go for it. I look for high quality setups. I'm not just because there's a bottom doesn't automatically be, oh, I throw money at it. No, that it, it means there it is. Let me see which, which is the best big bottom, right? Look for the best big bottom. We like big bottoms on this channel, but we look for the best big bottom. Uh, Domino's Pizza has a big bottom down here. <laughs> At under 400 people love Domino's Pizza, so that's a buy if it comes down there. Down there, It has not broken down since July 18, so for more than six months, it has stayed uh, above 400. Although, again, it's too expensive, so I, most people aren't going to be able to afford that. DJT... Ooh, DJT, look at that. Oh, that's an inside a wedge too. I'm seeing a lot of wedges. No, I'm not going to play the wedge on that. No, thank you. That one's still dumping. Coin, coin, there's no bottom there. It's still dumping. ASTS, eh, that one looks like it's ready to go lower. Here's why. Let me show you. 
there is a bottom here, but it's uh, I wouldn't trust it. I wouldn't trust it because I see this, like it's trending to, it's slowly falling into the bottom. And you know what happens when it, it just, it's just going to blast right through it. That's what it looks like. It just keeps going lower and lower. It's not actually trading sideways. It's not trading sideways. It's, 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 it's like it goes up and then it comes down to the bottom and then it goes up, but it doesn't come up as high as previously. And then it just keeps doing that. It, it, that just looks like it's ready to go down lower under 20. So I'm not going to touch that. I don't care for that. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care for that one either. Nope. Don't care about gold. Another wheat stock that has broken its bottom and, and going lower. Yeah, I don't trust that one either. I don't know what happened to wheat stocks. They just kind of died. What is this? Uranium? Don't care for it. I think uranium has a bottom somewhere. We have $4 and $6. So there's two bottoms here, but I would wait. Definitely not a buy here. Servo Robotics. Uh, <laughs> I don't know where the bottom's going to be, but the previous bottom was down there at 7 But I, I doubt it's going to come down that low. Well, this one, we have to wait to see where it forms that bottom. Uh, don't care about that one. Nope, nope. Apple, don't care. Too expensive for most people. Don't care for that one. Nope. Wait, Rhyme? Rhyme? Ooh, nah, nah, not interested. Not interested. Nope, nope. Q-U-B-T. Q-U-B-T. Hmm. I think that, yeah, I think this might have been, uh, this might start to form a bottom here. That's your support, and that's where buyers stepped in here. So I would look to see if it holds here above uh, 860, but I'm not buying. QBTS. No. Color. Color looks like the worst one of all. It looks, it looks bad because it broke below support. It tried to push up above it, and then it just closed underneath it. It had to close above three or we were, yeah, it didn't close above three. It wasn't able to recapture $3. So we're probably going to continue. To, we're just going to continue down. It has to recapture it. $3, that level it has to recapture that level or we're just going to go down lower. So I'm not touching that with a 50 foot pull. Don't care for this one. Don't care for that one. RGTI. Uh, no, not interested. Not interested. Uh, like you, you don't want to buy the dip and it keeps dipping. Are you on Q? Yeah, these quantum computing stocks are following, following each other at this point. So I don't care for any of these. Stag is undervalued right now. That one's so undervalued. It, that you think used to be at like 40. Loves to, let me show you the weekly because this this you don't want to look at this on the daily. But yeah, you can see over the long term it keeps going higher. But formed a double top, came down. So it likes to come up as high as 40. Then it dumps lower. So I would wait for this one to get cheap is what I'm waiting for. The weekly, eh, it's trying to hold here at 33, but I, we'll see. It's going to depend on Friday and next week to see if it holds here or if it's just going to come back down to 30. So that one you have to wait for, but that's a good long-term uh, swing trade. You have to hold it for six months, though, so you got to have money to be able to hold that one. Silver, don't care, don't care. Uh, oh, L-A-E-S. What a huge buyer stepped in big here. But look at that green candle close. And it's 18% up in after hours. Why is that? Is it because they began their distribution of the chips that they... Yeah. Well, the funny thing is, uh, quantum computing is still far off, so... So it's kind of weird that it dumped, but also like buyers really love this one. So keep an eye on this one for some more upside, actually, with the strength that it showed. And, and it's already at 622 in after hours. Like it's actually coming back to, to $7 before it dropped, which is like the only one showing that kind of strength. It is a quantum computing stock. So keep an eye on that one. That one's interesting. This was, it, yeah, that one is, huh. This one might actually get a crossover. Eh, probably not. We'll see what happens with that one. That one's interesting to say the least. Sound is more of a long-term hold. I would just accumulate it right now as it's like almost half off. Uh, Niv F. Eh, nah, I don't care for it. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sybil Snack. The bottom is down here at 007s. If you have a small account and you're in the Discord, this is what you have to look out for. 
Buy down here, sell it for 50%, rinse and repeat. You can grow 1,000 to 1,500, then 2,250, and so on and so forth. It's going to take time and discipline and patience, but you can definitely grow a small account this way. So it's definitely Sybil and AITX, since small accounts can't day trade anyways. So AITX and Sybil, wait for the bottom on those. If you want to grow a small account, those are perfect. B hat might make a comeback here. I would keep an eye. Oops. I would keep an eye on B hat and see if it bounces here. Because this one can move big. Yeah, this one can can make a, actually this could uh, this could bounce back to 13 cents and for a nice uh 30% plus. Keep an eye on B hat on Friday. That one could move again. Uh, I don't care for that. No, wait, wait, wait. Nah, that that's not anywhere near the bottom. EDBL. It's holding on. Uh, EDBL here going sideways. Uh, it's going sideways. And it's at 0.39 in after hours. So we'll see if this gets accumulated. And if volume comes in, this can explode. Like it recently ran to 41, then 54. So it can, you know, you can make a nice 50% around this one. But it's uh, risky and you have to be willing to take the loss if it breaks down below uh, 29. Because that's where I told people to set a stop loss. So... That's another play right there if you're looking for big gains. But you better respect that stop loss and take the L if, if, if it comes down. NVIDIA, the bottom is at around 126 to 130. And I'm waiting to add big down there. I already added 10 shares today. I'm like, eh, 10 shares at 140. I, I can, yeah, why not? It's just That's just $1,400. Ooh, so no big deal. Uh, I would wait for 130-ish uh, to add bigger. All right, guys, that's it for the video. As always, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. And those are your plays for Friday. Probably the best one would be EDBL. If you're, if me, because if it gets volume, this can go, right? Like it can pop. So the risk to reward, the risk to reward ratio is good because you buy in at, let's say, 39.39. If it breaks below 0.29, you get stopped out and you move on. If it pumps, it can go from 0.39 to 0.42. You know, or it can go to 54. I mean, you, there's <laughs> there's some, like, the risk to reward ratio is too good to pass up if you're uh, a day trader. This is definitely a day trade. I, I wouldn't want to hold it overnight because you never know. It could just gap down. Uh, I don't like holding things overnight. Definitely a day trade opportunity. Same thing with BHAT. Pretty much the same thing. If it pumps, it, it can go, but you do not want to hold it overnight or it can gap down on you and, and destroy you completely. All right, guys, that's it for the video. As always, you know, you got a little bit of something for everyone. Those who want to play it safe and want to make a lot of money, wait for AITX and Sybil to come down. Those who want to take a little more risk, BHAT and EDBL sitting at bottoms. Good risk to reward ratio. And if you have money, probably just buy NVIDIA and average down. And uh, when it goes up, you know, rinse and repeat. All right, guys, that's it for the video. As always, I'll see you in the next one.